For all the executives and senior business people, you're not going to want to miss this out. Here we have the Dell Latitude 147430, which has the security and features to be a great enterprise machine, while the convertible form factor makes it easy for presentations and working together in a team. As you guess, this is one expensive device, so the selection of materials is flawless. The whole chassis is made from aluminum, which results in a durable structure and a very nice cool-to-the-touch feeling. The laptop is overall very boxy, with sharp edges and round corners. Portability is great, as the notebook weighs only 1.44 kg and has a 18.7 mm profile. The lid opens easy with one hand, but the hinges get stiffer after 90 degrees, which is good for the 360 degrees functionality. On the base, we find a keyboard with long key travel and clicky feedback, while the spacing between the keys is good as well. The power button has a fingerprint reader. The touchpad works really well, with a smooth glass surface and a very tactile clicking mechanism. The input-output consists of two Thunderbolt 4 ports, one full-sized USB, HDMI, 3.5mm audio jack, SD card reader, smart card reader, and a SIM card slot. Before we talk about the display, we have to mention the glass cover and the array of sensors at the top. There is an IR face recognition sensor, as well as a proximity sensor, all of which provide extra layers of security. The FHD IPS display on the front has great viewing angles, peak brightness of 305 nits and a high contrast ratio. The laptop has near full sRGB coverage, while the colors get very accurate with our design and gaming profile. There is some PWM usage, but only up to 74 nits. We'll have a link to our profiles in the description. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The 58 watt hours battery unit lasts for 12 hours and 30 minutes of web browsing, or 8 hours and 20 minutes of video playback, when paired with the Core i7-1265U. The Core i7-1265U performs a lot better than the Tiger Lake chips that it's replacing, however, the P-Series still blows it out of the water in 3D rendering. The cooling setup consists of one heat pipe and one fan, with a heat sink to the side. In the CPU stress test, we see that the Core i7 goes way above its 15 watts TDP limit, going as high as 43 watts in the first few seconds. While clock speeds and wattage decrease, the temperature goes up, as the CPU runs at 96 degrees Celsius after the 15 minute mark. However, comfort was exceptional, with a base temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, while the single fan can't produce a lot of noise, even if it wants to. The laptop has soldered memory, which comes in two variants. If you want a device with a U-Series chip, you get DDR4 RAM, while the P-Series gets LPDDR5 RAM. So far, we haven't seen any noticeable difference in performance in Alder Lake chips when comparing DDR4 versus DDR5. As for the storage, there's one M.2 slot, which fits the super fast generation 4 drives. If you want to know how to access it, we'll have our teardown video linked below. The Dell Latitude 147432-in-1 is a laptop with a lot of qualities which is expected given its premium price. A little drawback is the limited upgradability but it's not something unexpected for such a portable notebook. If you feel like there's anything we didn't mention, check out our written review, which covers everything about the device.